I've just woken up after snoozing my alarm twice. It's 7.20 on Thursday morning, five weeks after my accident, and I have my first appointment at my local hospital. Let's see what the day holds. It's now 8.20 and I was told by patient transport from the hospital that I had to be ready two hours before my appointment. And here I am, ready for my appointment. I'm just going to wait and they can come any time within the next hour and a half in order to get me to the hospital in time. So let's see how today goes and see what the outcome is. The things that I'm hoping for are maybe to learn how to walk on crutches I don't know how to do that yet. I can walk on one crutch to go up and down the stairs, but that's it. I also want to know if I'm able to get in and out of cars because I have a couple of trips coming up that I need to do. One is my COVID jab. Um, so that would be useful. And generally, just to be able to step out of the house and even sit in the garden, that would be lovely. Uh, I also need to put in place, or I, I need to know today what's going to happen going forward with my care. I've got one more district nurse visit to change dressings on Tuesday. Uh, perhaps by then I may not even need the boot on my leg. I don't know. But hopefully we shall find out. It's now the afternoon. It's been a really exciting day. I have been to the hospital. I've returned home again and I have some good news. The doctor has said that the bone is healing quite well. It's on the mend, but it's not there yet. I now need to practice walking on it. When the bone realizes that it needs to start bearing more weight, it will generate more bone and be stronger. That all happened Quite quickly, my longest wait at the hospital was actually for the x-ray department. But once I got seen there, I was seen very quickly and then um, the physio was sent in. Uh, the other piece of good news is that I can do without the boot when I'm at home. Yay! So I'm walking around now without any boot on. And that's the hard thing. Since I got home at about um, half past 11, quarter to 12, I have been doing walking without uh, the boot periodically and my leg is actually aching quite a bit now but it's to be expected it hasn't had any activity like this for five weeks five weeks ago today my accident happened which is hard to believe but there we go so no boot in the house I can still use the boot when I go outside for a bit of security and a bit of support which is great um, the physio got sent in after the doctor had seen me and he gave me some exercises which I need to do. Now, funnily enough, some of them I have been sort of doing already without knowing it. And that's all to strengthen my upper leg, my knee joint and my ankle joint. And of course, to allow my poorly leg to bear more weight. So the hard work really begins now that the boot is off. I will do those exercises re regularly because I want to be back on my feet properly and uh, I will let you know how all of that goes on over the next week. But there are a few questions that I needed to ask the physio and unfortunately I had patient transport arranged for one hour after my appointment and that really wasn't long enough. So as the physiotherapist was writing, um, doing ticks on the sheet, with my exercises on it, the patient transport driver came to collect me. And apparently, if you don't make that appointment, there's a four hour turnaround and I couldn't afford to stay at the hospital for four hours. So I was rather rushed through the physio appointment. He did check that I could wait bare. He checked that I could do a couple of steps. Um, he examined my mobility in my ankle and my knee. Um, he did all of that, but I would have liked another maybe five or ten minutes with him just to ask some questions. So now my challenge is to try and get back in touch with either that department at the hospital or another physio department at the 
like my doctor's surgery to ask my questions and it's basic questions like um can i go in a car when will i be able to drive a car and um what's the other questions oh yeah something basic like um can i have a shower now for instance i've been having um sort of washes at the basin and washing my hair over the sink it would be really lovely to have a shower but I don't know the answer to that yet so I might just leave that a couple of days unless of course I can get hold of somebody and get answers to these questions so very exciting day to day five weeks after my accident I'm looking forward to what this coming week holds for me I'm feeling confident that I am going to get myself back together again but yeah, I'm feeling really positive and it's lovely to be out of the boot, to feel the air on my skin. I've got lots of moisturising ahead of me. By the way, one of my um, subscribers commented on the product called Bio Oil. And I just wanted to let you know that I have um, bought some and I have been applying it for the last few days. It's a product that is supposed to help with scarring and stretch marks. Well, stretch marks I have enough of through my having my four children. But scarring, I've got enough of those as well. So if this is going to help, I will let you know. But it is going to help certainly with moisturising my dry skin on the tight skin of my leg um, that is currently preventing me from being as flexible as I need to in order to walk. I do hope you've enjoyed today's video. Um, feel free to subscribe, like and share. I would really appreciate it if you could do that. So until next week and next week's video.